My Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask your pardon for my sins and the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me. In the season of Lent, which we're about to complete our first week of, is the time when we as Catholics can get back to the basics. And we just need to, to go out and to learn again how to do some of the most basic things. As human beings, we can have a tendency to overcomplicate things, to, to make things more difficult than they need to be. And Lent is a real good time to just get back to the basics. I remember watching a movie a number of years ago uh, about a baseball pitcher and it's a high stakes situation and uh, a really big game and he's not sure if he's going to be able to do it and he kind of flashes back to just playing catch with his dad just play catch just throw the ball into the mitt back to the basics and we we need to do that we need to do that in our spiritual life and jesus you want us to sometimes just get back to those most basic things it's good to have a lot of devotions. It's good to be having a lot of spiritual practices. But in the season of Lent, as well, we should get back to some of those basics and be sure we haven't lost our appreciation for them. And today in the gospel, we hear you, Lord, teaching the apostles how to pray. They ask you um, how to pray many times. Here, our section comes from the Sermon on the Mount. So you're, you're preaching to them. This is your teaching, the the formation that you offer. And you teach us not to babble like the pagans when we pray. And ultimately, Jesus, you give us the Our Father. We read, Jesus said to his disciples, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Don't be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. As human beings, it could be a real tendency that... As soon as we start something familiar, we go into a type of autopilot. And this is something that our, our brains do to help us get through the day, that we, we want to get to a, a level of, of habit and repetition. We can't be devoting 100% of our attention to some of the most basic things. I know a number of people may spend this time in prayer when they're driving or in the car, and that's a great example where in the basic actions of driving, particularly among a familiar route, we can do some basic things like, you know, hitting the turn signal or uh, stopping at a red light or taking the turns that we take without a lot of conscious thought. We're doing it, but we're not devoting a lot of conscious thought. We've gone into a type of autopilot through habit, through repetition. And that could happen with our prayer, that our prayer becomes a type of autopilot. And so we just... Oh, this is a prayer I know. It's the Our Father, and so I'm just going to turn off my brain and allow the words to pass uh, meaninglessly through my lips on autopilot, and that's not how we are supposed to pray. In fact, even many times when we are writing uh, for the Our Father, we'll, we'll use the, the triple dots, right? Our Father, dot, dot, dot. And everyone who sees that dot, dot, dot knows that that is, you just say the rest of the prayer, or we just mean the rest of the prayer, but we never even go through it. Or in preaching a meditation and referencing the Our Father, we just say the Our Father, and we don't even consider the entire prayer. And in Lent, with getting back to the basics, we need to say it's an entire prayer. Jesus, you gave us the Our Father. This is how you want us to pray, not on autopilot, where we just babble like the pagans, not where... Our brain has no idea what our lips are doing, but rather praying with the heart. 
that we, we can say our vocal prayers, but we can say them well. We can say them always with more love. It's not a matter of coming up with new words or creative words. Prayer doesn't have to be creative in the words that we use. And sometimes, maybe if, if we're asked to pray in public, I, I wonder if, if we were asked to say a, a public prayer and we prayed the Our Father as that prayer, would people feel like they got shortchanged? Like, I, I want the prayer that, that you make up. Well, no, I, Jesus, I actually want the prayer you make up. I want the prayer that you teach us to pray. The Our Father is a, a prayer that we should pray. And as Christians, your followers, this is how you teach us to pray, to pray the Our Father. And not just to rattle through it, but to pray it with real love, to really give ourselves in devotion. St. Jose Maria, in his little book, The Way, writes about prayer slowly. Consider what you're saying who is saying it, and to whom. For that hurried talk without time for reflection is just noise, the clatter of tin cans. Jesus, that could be us sometimes, that we don't consider that when we pray the Our Father, we're, we're talking to our Father, talking to our Dad, our Abba. And you taught us how to say this. This is just a, a talk with Dad, playing catch with Dad. It's the, the time to say these, these beautiful things to our Lord, to our Father, to say them with devotion. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Right, Father, we want your name to be, to be holy. Sanctificetur nomen tuum, to be sanctified. I want all people to know that the name of my dad is holy. It's a holy name. Your kingdom come, thy kingdom come. We want God's. I want the kingdom of God to come today. I, I want the second coming. Jesus said, I want you to come back, and I look forward to that. But I, I want your kingdom to come on earth through my actions, through the upbuilding of the church and the spread of the gospel. Thy kingdom come. The Father's kingdom. Thy will be done. The Father's will. Whatever, whatever Dad wants, I want that. Not just my will, not the way I go through things, but my Father's will. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Heaven is the place of, of perfect happiness. And God's will is totally done. The Father's will is totally done in heaven. And everyone is, is happier than we could even imagine. And I want that on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. It is not just getting by, but the Father's will being done on earth even as it is in heaven. And then we ask our dad for those things that we need. Give us this day our daily bread, what we need today, our, our daily sustenance, but also in a deeper way with faith, the Eucharist. When we're able to receive our Lord and Holy Communion, give, this, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. I'm sorry. Father, I'm sorry for the things that I've done wrong. I'm sorry for the ways that I've fallen short. Forgive us our trespasses. But I, I can't just say I'm sorry. I also have to go out of my way to forgive those who have trespassed against me. I have to forgive those that I hold a grudge. What if every time we said the Our Father, we really made that effort internally to forgive anyone that we're holding a grudge against? As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Don't let us go down the wrong path. Don't let us get lost. But deliver us from evil or from the evil one. Right? Don't, don't let us be overcome by evil. Deliver us. Save us. Father, save us. You love us and you want to save us. We should try to pray the Our Father, Dine, Atente Activote, right? To, to pray the Our Father well and lovingly. Those words, Dine, Atente Activote, is uh, from a prayer at the beginning of the Liturgy of the Hours, the, the vocal prayer of the church, to pray the Our Father in a dignified way, in an attentive way, and in a devout way. That should be the goal for all of my vocal prayer. Dine, Atente Ac devote, dignified, attentive, and devoted or loving. If we do this, we, we get right back to the basics. This is the prayer that you teach us, Jesus. And so we ask your grace today, your help. Help us to learn this prayer well as you teach it to us. We ask Our Lady as well. She prayed all of her vocal prayers uh, directly in 
beautifully. And so Mary, help us. Help us to embrace vocal prayer in a way that is dignified, attentive, and devout. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, and inspirations which you have communicated to me in this meditation. Ask your help in putting them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.